Welcome to the latest episode of the NFL Draft Geek Film Room. I'm Brian Johannes, and today we're looking at Washington running back Miles Gaskins. And what we're going to do here is we're going to look at a few clips of his to kind of give you an overall feel of the type of prospect that Miles Gaskins is as he enters his senior year and, and goes through that season and, and more than likely into the 2019 NFL Draft. So let's not waste any time. Let's go ahead and get started. Miles Gaskins, 5'10", 193 pounds. Um, definitely a versatile back that can offer a lot of a lot of positive traits to about any NFL team. And I, and I think he fits a lot of different schemes. This first clip that we're going to look at shows how he would fit in a zone blocking scheme. You know, zone blocking scheme, you're thinking one cut and go, get downhill, hit those cutback lines. So here we see in this run, he's going to get the handoff to his left. Okay? And he shows that ability to just get that foot down, get up field, and get into the, you know, the second and third levels. Okay? Once again, I'll put it all the way through. Be able to put that foot down, find that crease, and explode up into... You know, that second and third level, get that big gain, uh, get the chains moving. Okay. He's also, I think, can fit in a man scheme, a man blocking scheme, a gap blocking scheme. And, and a lot of those um, examples of that is, you know, the patience, you know, stop and start. You're navigating your way through traffic. It's not necessarily put a foot down and just get upfield as fast as you can. You got to show a little bit more patience, maybe a little bit more vision. Okay, so that's what you see right here. He's able to go to his right, hesitate for a second, find that crease, and get up. We'll watch it one more time. Okay, hesitates, just that light, slight hesitation to let that hole open and get to that second level. Um, another example of that patience in that burst, okay, later on in the game, he's going to get this carry out of the... out of... Uh, out of uh, a wildcat, let's just go a little bit further. I stopped a little too soon. But he's going to be in the wildcat. He's going to get the ball right away, and he just is able to hesitate, hesitate, find that opening, and exploit it for the touchdown. Once again, hesitate, hesitate, sees that hole, is able to explode forward uh, for the touchdown. So you can see here, he can play both in a zone scheme. He can play in a man scheme. He's got that versatility. He's not locked into one of those schemes and that's going to hurt him because only you know half the teams or a quarter of the teams are going to draft him. Um, he can play in about any scheme out there. Okay. One of the biggest traits that Miles Gaskin has is his lateral agility. He's got such quick lateral agility and we're going to see that in this run. He's able to make that quick move. Hey, this defender wait for it. This defender right here is starting to show. Now he's coming in thinking, I've got him dead to rights. I'm going to get a tackle for loss. And Gaskins is able to make that quick lateral move. And then he has enough speed to get to the edge, get upfield, you know, and get that first down. This is third and four. Okay. Third and four. And he's, you know, looking to run right here. You think get, get to this crease, get in, and get that first down. And he ends up being able to make that move around the corner and still get that first down. Okay. Another example was lateral agility and his overall speed. Okay. Here he is. He's going to hit this lateral cut and then just turn on the jets, hit that corner, and run away. And, yes, he does get caught from behind, but that was a big chunk play. Okay. So as we see here, He's supposed to be going. This is like a power right here, you know, and it's not there. He's able to see this backside cut open, make that lateral cut to get there, and just have enough speed to get around the, the cornerback and then get into that, uh, get into the defensive secondary. All right, last clip that I'm going to look at kind of just shows, once again, how he's able to just use his... Um, speed, his lateral agility, just to keep plays alive and get those extra yards. So as we see here, it's going to be kind of a, a pass, and he ends up getting it dumped off, but he makes this catch, lateral cut there, lateral cut there, and able to turn something that should have been nothing, should have been maybe a tackle for loss, and he ends up getting at least positive yards out of it. Um, if there's a concern I have about Miles Gaskins, Gaskin is his ability to run between the tackles consistently in the NFL. 
Um, but we see a guy like Devonta Freeman be able to do that at a similar size. Uh, Freeman and him kind of compare a little bit, you know, just that smaller back that could just really hit the hit his speed quick and fast, uh, good agility. I think he's probably best suited for a zone scheme just because, you know, those outside zone runs, get on the perimeter, use that speed. But I think he can fit in any back uh, any backfield. At a minimum, I think he's going to be a good backup. But I definitely think he has starter traits. And uh, in today's NFL where you're, pat, you're, you're looking to win out in space and get on the edge and, and make catches out of the backfield, I think he definitely has potential there. All right, well, that's going to go ahead and do it. I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the best way to get these is to subscribe here on YouTube, so make sure you hit that subscribe button. Uh, also, follow me on Twitter and Instagram at draft underscore Brian. Make sure you hit up NFLDraftGeek.com for all your draft needs. Make sure you're following at NFLDraftGeek. Thanks for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed.